Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set says that there are six students who study in different schools. They aspire to become engineer, doctor, teacher, pilot, actor, and scientist. And they obtained different marks in their board exams. Some information is given to us about them. Based on it, we have to find out who studies in which school, got how much marks, and aspires to become what. Now, if you uh, look at this problem, it's a grid-based puzzle. We have to arrange the data in the form of rows and columns. However, if you see some of the statements like the average marks, the average marks, the average marks. So this means that it has some element of uh, numerical calculation in this. So the best approach in such questions is make the first column as the numerical data one. So let us put this one as 81, 83, 85, 87, 89 and 91. And then accordingly we can fill the remaining values. So remaining things we can fill in any order like name, school and their aspirations. name, school and the aspirations. Let's fill the direct information first that 83% student studies in DAV. So this person studies in DAV and the boy who aspires to become a doctor got 91%. Okay, so intelligent people, doctors are the studious students. All right, so we have three statements apart from this based on average. The average of the marks of Yogi and Hari is divisible by 11. <clears throat> now, all these marks are in the range 81 to 91. So, this average should be 88. Okay. And how can we get 88 among these numbers? One possibility is 85 and 91. And second possibility is 87 and 89. That's how we can get the average as 88. The average of the marks of the boys who study in KV and DPS is 85%. Okay. Now, one more thing that you should know about averages that one value should be lower than the value. Since there are no two equal values, one value should be lower than the average, another should be more than the average. So, out of a value which is less than 85, 83 is already covered. So, one of them is 81 and another has to be 89. So one is KV and DPS. So let us write like this, DPS or KV. Then we are given that the average of the marks of the boys who study in Loreto and Seneca is 86%. So it is evident that these are the two ones, Loreto and Seneca. Okay. And then there is one school that remains, that is Xavier. So Xavier will come here. Okay, now we have filled this information. Next, we need to see that how do we arrange these people. One statement says that uh, the boy who aspires to become an engineer studies in KV. Okay, so this engine, this person could be this or this. Nilesh studies in Senek. Milan, who aspires to become an actor, got less marks than Nilesh. So Nilesh is in Senek, and Milan, the actor has less marks than them and then we have the boy who aspires to become an engineer got less marks than Nilesh so engineer also got less marks than Nilesh that does not mean that they are in this order but Nilesh is greater than he has got more marks than Milan and he has also got more marks than the engineering aspirant okay and it is given that the boy who aspires to become an engineer studies in KV. So this means Nilesh is either these of these two. Okay. Nilesh is one of these two. So this means this must be the person aspiring to become an engineer because only these two people can study in KV. And this person, if we consider this person studying in KV, he will have more average than, more score than Nilesh. So that is why this is KV and this is DPS. And this person aspires to become an engineer. Okay. Now, 
we have uh, two cases possible for nilesh okay so let us assume that nilesh is here 85 let us consider that nilesh is this person so if nilesh is uh, this then 85 91 this pair is not possible so 87 and 89 should be the marks of yogi and hari so these two are yogi hari okay so we have filled this information and then we have some more information like uh, Milan wants to become an actor. So, and less marks than Nilesh. So, this will be Milan an actor. Okay. Now, we have two people left. And one information is given that Ankit does not aspire to become an engineer. Also, he did not get the highest percentage. So, Ankit cannot be this person. Ankit cannot be this person as well. So, this means our assumption about Nilesh is wrong. So, we up till Nilesh, assuming Nilesh as 85%, everything was correct. Okay, that was filled correctly. We made a case from here. So, if we take Nilesh as 85, we cannot have Ankit placed in this arrangement because he is not an engineering aspirant and he is not the highest scorer also. So, this means we will correct ourselves from this point. So, Nilesh is not 85, Nilesh is 87. If Nilesh is 87, this will be Senek and this will be Loreto school. Now, Nilesh is 87, that means this is not possible for these two people. So, these two people have 85 and 91. Okay, so this is uh, Yogi and Hari. And uh, once we have placed Nilesh, Milan has to be less than Nilesh and he aspires to become an actor. Now, this cannot be Milan. So, this is Milan and he aspires to become an actor. Ankit does not aspire to become an engineer. So, uh, Ankit is not this person. This is Ankit. And one person remains who is Sam. Okay. So, this will be Sam. Okay. Now, we have uh, three aspirations left. And there is a statement. It says, the boy who aspires to become a teacher got less marks than the boy who aspires to become a scientist and more marks than the boy who aspires to become a pilot. So, we will have pilot, then teacher, then scientist. So, this is the order in which we will be able to fill this information into this table. Okay. Now, we can answer the questions. Who got 83%? 83% is Milan. Who studies in KV? So, we have Sam studying in KV. Who aspires to become a scientist? Ankit aspires to become a scientist. And Hari's aspiration is to become. Uh, so, if you see this, Hari is this person or this person. So, it is either pilot or doctor. Pilot or doctor. So, that is the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.